My honey, God made me a promise to redeem my family and bring me to a man who is loyal to him. Today is just another day in my life that I could literally shout it from this mountaintop that God always keeps his promises. I love you and choose you for your beautiful heart, your authenticity, and because of how you fully accept me the way I am. I learned so much from you, and so does our boy. Just in the last few months, you have lived an example to me of obedience and blessing, small town etiquette, and putting on strength and grace even when it's getting difficult. I am so proud of who you are and who we are becoming together in Christ. I always fully support you and love you, and I'm so excited for our future, whatever God has planned for us. I know the details will be better than I can imagine, but the one thing I know today and forever is I only want to be with you.
Would you all stand? We are gathered here today to witness and participate in the uniting of two lives, Tyler Wiley and Laura Jones. Tyler and Laura, as I have seen your love grow in the adversity that you, have to, you two have conquered along the way, it is evident that God has been working in his plan for both of your lives. I have been so excited in preparation for this day, and as we get to witness God's plan come to fruition through his covenant, through this covenant that begins today. The scriptures teach us that God created marriage to be a lasting relationship of one man and one woman, freely and totally, to, totally committed to each other as companions for life. He declared that a man shall leave his father and mother and be united with his wife in the building of a home, and the two shall become one flesh. So in light of this, who gives this woman away to be married to this man? You all may be seated. Lamentations 3, 22, 23 says, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Faithfulness, that word faithfulness is the theme of today and the rest of your lives together. Since this relationship began, you have based every action on the foundation of faithfulness. Ultimately, your faithfulness to God and his plan for your life has been a testimony to all of us around you. The meaning of marriage for us as Christ followers is so much more than just a contract signed by two parties. From the very beginning, marriage has been a covenant between a man, a woman, and God. A covenant marriage is intended by God to be a lifelong, relationship exemplifying unconditional love, reconciliation, sexual purity, faithfulness, and growth. A covenant is an eternal commitment with God. People can negotiate in and out of contracts, but you can't out of covenant. The heart of a covenant, which is what marriage is, comes from the picture of love that we see from God in the, in the passage that we read earlier. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his passions, his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. A contract says you do this and I'll do this. A covenant says how can I serve you? A contract says I will meet you halfway. A covenant says I will give you 100%. It's not what can I get, but instead what can I give? The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a covenant relationship, a permanent relationship of two people freely committed to each other as companions for life. We see another beautiful description of marriage in Ephesians 5, 25 through 33. Ephesians 5, 33 says, however, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself and the wife must respect her husband. Lord, respect your husband. That is how you will show him love with your words, with your attitude, with your trust, not because Tyler deserves it, but because he needs it. He needs you to cheer him on, to encourage him, to bless him, to pray for him, 
to trust him. He won't always deserve it. He will fail you as you will fail him. But he needs your respect to walk through this life with courage and to be the man that God has called him to be. And for you, Tyler, the scriptures command you to love your wife as Christ has loved the church. What does that mean? What does that look like? What does the love of God look like? We see that answered in Ephesians 2, verse 1, and then again in verses 4 through 7. As for you, you are dead in your transgressions and sins, but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. And it's by grace that you have been saved. God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus in order uh, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. That same commitment that God showed us through the sacrifice of Jesus is seen in marriage. Marriage is a covenant which involves that kind of commitment, that kind of love, that kind of responsibility. As you guys have seen in the world today, this covenant of marriage is something that is very difficult. Um, the commitment is hard. It can be difficult, but be encouraged because God is here. John 16, says this. I have told you these things so that in time you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So Tyler and Laura, take heart today. Because though marriage may be difficult, it's worth it. You have a God who created it. You have family and friends all around you who are cheering you on, who are here to help you. Who are here to encourage you to cover you in prayer marriage isn't easy but it's worth it to be loved by another at this level and then to learn to love sacrificially is worth it i invite you guys to take his word the bible for your god as you live your lives in marriage and as you continue establishing a home through this kind of commitment to one another so are you two ready to make this commitment and seal the love you have for each other okay tyler i have some questions for you Tyler, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together according to God's ordinance, unite it to one another, and commit it to each other in the holy bond of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, pledging your faithfulness to her as long as you both shall live? I do. I do. Laura, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together according to God's ordinance, Unite it to one another and commit it to each other in the holy bond of marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others and pledging your faithfulness to him as long as you both show it? Yes, I do. May this covenant that you two are now entering be done in strength and grace. May you honor the Lord with your lives together. May we have the rings. <laughs> All right, Tyler, will you take the ring and put it on the finger of Laura and repeat after me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> So much hair. There's so many. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, get oh, on there. <laughs> You're going to get on there. Okay. There we go. All right. Will you repeat after me? Laura. This Laura. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Go ahead>. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> this ring is a symbol of my love for you. This ring is a symbol of my love for you. With this ring. With this ring. I pledge my life. I pledge my life. And all I have to you. And all I have to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Lord, will you take Tyler's ring and place it on his left finger? <laughs> all right, repeat after me. Tyler. Tyler. This ring is a symbol of my love for you. This ring is a symbol of my love for you. With this ring. With this ring, I pledge my life. I pledge my life. And all I have to you. And all I have to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Awesome. 
Tyler and Laura have decided to take communion as a literal picture of the foundation of this marriage, Christ and the love that he showed us while we were still sinners. So as they head over and privately take part in the elements, let's take time as friends and family to pray over them in their new marriage. He said there's going to be hands on them, so, yeah, okay. bow together I want to take a moment and pray this special blessing over you two out of Numbers chapter 6 verse 22 through 24 may the Lord bless you and keep you may the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you may the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace and protection and mercy and grace to help in times of need amen amen, amen. Tyler and Laura Look around you. You have so many people here that love you, that are covering you in prayer, that care for you deeply. And so because you have pledged your love to one another in the presence of God and these witnesses, so by virtue of the authority invested in me in accordance with the word of God, I now, now pronounce you husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Tyler, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Wiley. Yeah. <laughs>